Mycosis fungoides uh, in, is a uh, you know, cutaneous T cell lymphoma. Uh, it generally presents with patches on the skin. Uh, usually it looks sometimes like a patch of eczema or ringworm uh, you know, on the skin. So that's why perhaps it was mistaken to be fungal infection, not uncommonly. Uh, and so it starts off with little patches that uh, maybe come and go on the skin um, and on the trunk usually in the hidden areas. We call it the double hidden area in that sense that it likes to be in the underarms or in the groin area, uh, you know, kind of like hidden in the under, under the underwear. So like double hidden, you know, from the sun. So those are the typical locations that these patches tend to occur. Um, and then sometimes these, you know, patches get thicker and they become plaques and then they, those plaques then can progress to tumors. Now in contrast, Cesare syndrome patients present more with erythroderma which is about 80% or more of your skin involved with red scaly patches. And those patients are flaky. They look like they've had third degree sunburn, um, you know, walking around with the flaky skin. Um, they often have uh, uh, loss of hair in their face. So they look like they have leonine faces. They have thick plaques on their hands and feet. So the presentation for at least the Cesare patient and the early MF patient is, very, is somewhat different. Um, however, the crux of the difference is that in the you know, patients who have MF, the abnormal lymphocyte is in the skin. They're residing you know, T lymphocytes, the abnormal atypical lymphocytes are skin homing lymphocytes. Whereas in Cesare syndrome, the abnormal cells are in the blood. So most of the patients who have Cesare syndrome, they rarely, you know, they'll, some of them may have lymphoma involved in the skin, but most of the atypical lymphocytes are in their blood. And so a lot of that flaking and the redness that they experience in their skin is because they have lymphoma in the blood and they're reacting to it. 